Okay, so I made a video a few weeks ago uh, called Ways to Keep from Cutting. And I didn't put all the ways that I wanted to because otherwise it would have been super long and I don't want to make a super long video. I have no patience, <laughs> even for myself. Um, so I'll start by mentioning a couple things that you may already have heard about because it's commonly written on the internet, like um, holding an ice cube in your hand. Uh, it hurts, it's cold. Just don't do it for too long or you'll lose your hand. Frostbite. <laughs> uh, or there's a snapping of the rubber band on my wrist. I have I have a rubber band. I snap a lot on my wrist. Uh, as long as you don't overdo it also. Because uh, it, it can cause, cause bruising and take some skin off if you overdo it. But if you, you know, reused within reason, um, it, it can just be calming. Uh, but of course that's a bit controversial because then you're trading uh, pain as a, use of, as a way of um, dealing with a, a lesser way of <laughs> pain to, to, to cope. Uh, so uh, it's still hurting yourself, it's just not doing it in a, a damaging way. So uh, really I guess it's up to everyone's conscience whether they want to use that means or not. Uh, other thing is uh, my own recipe that uh, I used a few times, and it's good. Um, like if you got if you got a friend that uh, maybe also cuts himself, maybe they have an eating disorder, maybe they eat too much salt, <laughs> or they uh, ha overdo chocolate and they're gonna lose their pancreas and and die horribly of a chocolate death. Then uh, you could you could help your friend by making a pact with them. This is what my friend did with me uh, over a year ago. She said um, that if I didn't go home and cut myself, like I was planning to, <laughs> um, then she she wouldn't um, throw up her meals. She she had an eating disorder. She would keep her meal. She would eat and she would keep it. And she was a sack of bones. So I said yes right away. Yes, yes, yes. I will not hurt myself today. You will, you will eat. You will keep the food in your t stomach. Okay. Uh, so absolutely, I said yes. And uh, that that gave me one essay free day. And um, even if if you don't do that like every day, say you know your friend, uh, you know save your pancreas, don't eat the chocolate. Um, even if you don't do it every day, you know, it's just w w one day, once in a while, where you didn't hurt yourself, that's that's a win, okay? That's progress. So, uh, okay, yeah, me and friend, uh, we we had we were going to contact our, each other the next day to say whether we had managed to, uh, to not hurt ourselves in our respective ways. And, uh, but my, my family didn't know about my uh, SI. So uh, I ha we had to make a couple code <laughs> so that when we were talking on the phone they wouldn't know what we were saying. And uh, I figured, okay, we'll say, um, I didn't see any Russians. So um, if I'd cut myself, that would have been seeing a Russian. And if she had thrown up or not eaten, that would have been a Russian. So uh, we called each other up and uh, to, to say, hey, no Russians. For either of us, no Russians. We were, we were really glad for each other. Um, glad for ourselves too. Um, for me it lasted a little longer than a day because the expression on her face when she was begging me not to hurt myself uh, was quite lasting. Uh, I, I, I remembered it for a long time and every time I thought of hurting myself I would think of her face and how badly she wanted me not to do it. Uh, I lasted uh, thir 31 days and I had another friend who said to me, you know, once you get to 14 days, uh, we'll, we'll get ice cream. And once you get to 30 days, um, uh, I, I met, she made me a bracelet for 30 days to mark 30 days. She said, you got to make it 30 days. I got a bracelet for you to mark it, like an orange, orange, and, orange and white bracelet, I think. It's just to symbolize uh, that I was trying to stop. And so, so I did it. I made it to the, through the ice cream and the bracelet. And then the next day, and then on 32, day 32, I bombed. Badly, uh, badly bombed, and then they continued to bomb. But that, those 30 days, they still, they still, that's progress. They, they're still there. <laughs> so uh, whether you make it through one day, two days, and then you bomb, and then you make it through another one day and two days, those days that you make it, they're there. They're, they still exist. They still mean something. Um... Okay, so uh, you can you can use my Russian thing. <laughs> you can even call it Russians. 
Uh, what else? Um, I like to kick walls. Not my wall, of course not my walls. I kick other people's walls <laughs> when they're not around, you know, like at work or something. Um, you can kick a tree, but not barefoot. Don't do it barefoot. That's counterproductive. That's, that's hurting yourself anyways. Don't do it barefoot. Kick a tree with shoes on. It feels good. Kick it. Kick it. Make it pay for what it didn't do, for, for what, you know, sucks in your life. Um, I beat up my car once. <laughs> that felt really good. It was my car, so uh, it's my right to beat it up. What can you say? Uh, stranger was <laughs> watching, so I think I freaked him out, but I was, I was really, really beat the tar out of my car. Uh, thankfully, I didn't leave any dents, but it felt very good. No, I'm not saying you should beat your car. Tree's a better idea. It was very spontaneous, <laughs> beating of the car. But uh, it helped. You know, get, get, get some anger out. Okay, I have another um, ooh, uh, violent one. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate it. <laughs> um, so uh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna d disappear and uh, go in my room and show you what this other thing is. Okay, so here's my loud and violent one, which of course I get points for showing you guys because uh, <laughs> a, a demonstration is always better than just saying what it is. And um, you guys get to watch me make a fool of myself. Okay, so this is this is I found this one on the internet. Uh, this and then I tried it, and I thought it was quite effective. It's prepared. It's loud. Yeah, you can do that as long as you need to. <laughs> Usually, I feel so ridiculous that I I end up um, laughing every time because I, I feel I feel I feel completely ridiculous, and so that's helpful. Um, so that was the loud the loud way. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna disappear and go back to the living room. Okay, so the I'm not saying that all these ways are gonna make us like poof magically better uh... some of them ways will work for some people and some ways won't uh... so just use what works for you and um, really the idea is to get more SI free days more or days where we don't hurt ourselves and uh... we're bound to stumble but uh, it doesn't mean the progress we made isn't there so uh... anyways those were a few more ways uh, that I, I use. Um, I hope they can be of help. So, have a nice day.